wanted to give you guys a quick look out of our hotel room. We're at the 11th floor of the Rideau Hotel. And uh, we even have a emergency exit window that can be opened at the 11th floor. So right above the street. The park out here is uh, the Dan, Dan Park. Uh, some people call it the Central Park of Taipei because it's uh, pretty big right in the middle of the city surrounded by you know pretty tall buildings there's some pretty decent high-risers over there so that's where we're staying and I just opened the window and let some hot and muggy air in here yeah just a quick look that's Taipei Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to Heiko Shaves. Another day, another shave. We're gonna do a shave uh, completely travel style. We are in a hotel room right now in Taipei, Taiwan. I have this uh, Prasso travel kit here, which has pretty much everything you need. It has a shaving cream, pre-shave, after-shave, and a brush. The brush here is some sort of natural bristle, pretty stiff, pretty small too. Uh, we'll use it anyways. And then on top of that, we have alum sticks just in case it goes sideways uh, from Rockwell. And I have this khaki World War One inspired travel kit bought by Razor uh, at Razor Emporium. And I added this Gillette Travel Tech 1966 in it with a little short ball and handle. Um, I had this outside of this kit. The kit doesn't come with a razor. I guess you could buy one from Razor Emporium and complete it, but uh, I guess originally it would be an old style Gillette that would go in here. Actually not even a stubby handle, but like a long handle. But I didn't have that, so I just put this little travel tech in there. We're also using a Gillette Silver Blue blade today. That's the pack that came in this little khaki kit. So get the blade, liberate it out of its packaging here. I've already used a Gillette blade here before, here in this hotel room. I have another razor with, with me, which is a Gillette Super Speed Blue tip. Um, so the the little travel tech is a three piece of course. So you have the top, the bottom with the guard and the handle. You just stack that on top of each other and then screw the handle on. And then you just gotta make sure that everything is lined up, which it is. The ends are sticking out, so be careful when you tighten up the handle. This is going to be a relatively mild razor the gap between the blade and the guards is pretty small but we'll see I have not used it this is the first time shaving with a travel tech from 1966 so everything that can get in the way out of the way here all right we need to soak this brush a little bit I have a glass here and we're gonna put some hot water in it so just like that have it sit in hot water while we will apply some Parasso pre-shave. And before we do that, I splash some water in my face. Like that. I have about a Two day growth as you can see it's not super much but yeah I immediately look scruffy like after one day I look scruffy so yeah traveling to Taiwan a long trip long flight 13 hours and uh, we're here just for a family get-together more or less my wife's uh, side of the family we still have like some cousins and aunts and uncles here in Taiwan and then um, my wife's brother and her mother, they're also going to be here. All right, so that's soaking. The brush is soaking a little bit. 
So let's get the lather going while all is soaking. Cute little shaving cream container. I brought the six dollar um, com collapsible bowl and we're just gonna squeeze some in there at the bottom. All right, and then we're gonna grab our tiny little mini brush right here. I'm not gonna remove too much water from it because it doesn't hold much water to start with. And then we're just gonna start lathering. I've already used this brush once, tried to use it to face lather, but it's just way too small. There is, there's also no way of breaking the neck of this and sp uh, spreading it out. It just doesn't want to open up in the middle. It's too small. So, and now we have water. I have it up really nicely in the bowl so I don't have to do much in my face. A little bit more water we need. I just put a sip of water right from the tap in here to uh, hydrate this whole thing a little bit. The brush wasn't holding much at all. With those fingers down in this collapsible bowl, it really does a quick job of stirring it up and also breaking up the big bubbles. One hour later. Holding onto this tiny little handle is a little hard. I really like the size of this bowl. It's it's holding a lot of lather. That's good. Shiny, no big bubbles all over my hands already. So I think we're good to go. And we're just going to paint it on if we can. If we have a lather breakdown here, I cheated, I brought another brush because I knew it would be a little bit more complicated with this little thing here. But you know, in a pinch, if this is the only thing you have, I think that should do it, huh? What do you guys think? Looks pretty shiny, pretty hydrated. It keeps its shape. Okay, so here's this tiny little thing. There's definitely not much you can do wrong with holding this. Um, get the angle right. You're not gonna put too much pressure with this tiny little handle. All right, let's get started. Oh, I said it wasn't very aggressive but it is definitely more aggressive than uh, than my blue tip here the feedback so there is definitely a little bit more blade engagement How I work my way around the curvature here now. I think that works really well. You know, I always thought of those little travel razors as a novelty and nobody would really use them for anything. But I'm, I gotta say I'm a fan. I like it. It's just the right amount of aggression to get some shaving done. The, the handle keeps me from doing any kind of uh, pushing or too much pressure. I like it, I really do.
and it's um, relatively low profile as you can see so you can really get under your nose here too so far it's not scrape of my Adam's apple again Rinse, rinse that off real quick. And lather up again. And let's do a little bit more water. Stir this one more time. Okay. Could it be too wet in my face? Possibly. Yeah, this brush is kind of a joke. It's a decoration piece. Looks good, looks cute. But the bristles are also really stiff. They are long and stiff. So probably from the, the butt of the boar or butt of the badger. It's a little noisy here fan is always running here in the bathroom whenever the light is on all right down my nostril again my least favorite thing all right and now we're gonna do across the grain pass cute little thing here So this is a close comb tech razor. If you don't own one and you want just something really simple, they are very inexpensive too. You can probably find a really nice one like this. I mean, or the one with the long handle uh, for like 15 bucks on eBay. And this puppy really works. Not too difficult to find the right angle. Not too aggressive, not too mild. It does the trick. I mean, if you think about it, the old style, the new style, then eventually the tech razor, how long Gillette made those before they even came out with other models. It could be a little longer, a little bit, so you get your fingers out of the way. Okay. gonna be smooth my goodness this little razor does a great job no tugging no no jumping over anything and it's very smooth Yeah, hold on, guys.
guys, I gotta pause. All right, short interruption. Someone needed to use the bathroom. All right. Guys, seriously, this, this is really great. I'm gonna get a full-size tech just to have a comparison from this short stubby handle to what maybe the extra weight would do. But man, this is great. That just broadens my horizon into the Gillette vintage world. This is the first time of me shaving with a Gillette Tech razor. And in this case, the tiny little treble version of it. So let's, let's do a quick test here. Let's get my fingers wet. This is great. This is, I mean, we, we only did a two pass, but this is almost baby butt smooth around around my nose here this is always the most difficult spot this is perfect then down here i i lower my expectations just because of my sensitivity down here but i think i'm gonna do a third lower section neck pass here that's when we were interrupted so i'm just gonna add a little bit and just do another with the grain and I pull my neck skin taut. With two fingers. <laughs> I really like it. It really keeps you from do doing stupid things. still have enough lather for three more passes. All right, let me rinse off cold water. Parasso Green, it gives you this freshness in your face, it's unbelievable. That's why I also like the aftershave green so much. So, fresh already. We have absolutely no nicks to speak about. My skin is happy. This razor did a great job. I really like it. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> have to buy another one. Now, I haven't used an old style or the new style. I have a um, Mercure R41. Not sure. Um, supposedly open comb, kind of a a German equivalent to the Gillette open comb old style coming. We'll see. Yeah, and the aftershave they put in this box is the sensitive skin one, which has a little bit more sandalwood, like those earthy tones. Don't like it as much as the green. They also make a green balm, which I really like. And of course the normal aftershave. So now we're fresh and the moment we step out of this hotel we're gonna be all sweaty. It's literally really hot, very muggy, very humid all day long. They usually thunderstorms and rain in the afternoon. Today's Sunday so I will get this video together for you guys. Not much editing, sorry about that. I, I don't have a computer that really has the capabilities to do it. So. Um, yeah, this was the first travel shave. No, actually the second one. We already did one in a Boeing 7, uh, 777, 777. Um, so this is good. And I hope you guys like it with my little tech razor here. Love it. Man, I love it. Yeah, and um, next one, we also have this puppy with us and some other gear. Alrighty, guys. Hang in there. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.